Unboxing! Yee! Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another biggity big bad toy store unboxing video slash movie review. I had to do this. I had to combine the two. I wanted to talk about the Transformers 1 movie. I just saw an early screening and big thanks to Paramount and Hasbro for making all of that happen. They actually got all four of us tickets. So I went this morning with my whole family, Charlita 1, Lord Emmatron, Milamus Prime, and myself, Shardimus Prime. We all got to go together and it was an awesome experience. Uh, they had face painting over there for the kids. Uh, they had spray on tattoos over there. It's kind of hard to hold upside down like that. I got the Autobot symbol right here. My daughters and my wife, we all got spray on tattoos. Uh, they had free popcorn and sodas for us and everything and uh, the reserved seating and it, it was awesome. The only thing is that we got there a little bit late because I assumed, uh, I just didn't look at the directions properly made a bad move and thought it was at the AMC th theater off of Van Ness, but this was at the AMC Kabuki theater off of post and it's several blocks away, but not too far away. So we, so we didn't miss too much of the beginning. Charlita one stuck around to get the concessions. She took the loss on, on missing part of the beginning, but me and the girls watched uh, almost the whole thing. I'll be seeing it again. I'm not going to give you guys spoilers. I'm just going to do a quick review of the movie and just tell you how I feel about it more than anything else. So don't worry, I'm not going to spoil anything for you. Um, I just want to say that the movie is marketed to be a whole family fun kind of thing. And as far as achieving that, I feel like they nailed it. They nailed it. All four of us were happy. I was super stoked. I I'm going to tell you this. My favorite Transformers movie ever. And you got to be thinking to yourself, R really? Yeah, dude. Even 86. You got to remember... The 86 movie, I love and hate at the same time. The Michael Bay movies, I love and hate those at the same time. Now, Transformers Bumblebee and Transformers Rise of the Beast, I just love those. This one, I just love it through the roof. So I, <laughs> I, I highly recommend you watch it. It is catered towards the 40-year-old Transformers fan that now has a family. They made it for us, dude. They, they just straight up made it for us. They're like, here, we know you're 40 now. You got kids. So we're going to make it safe for the kids to watch. It's going to be interesting. It's going to have all kinds of G1 lore and, and nods throughout the different Transformers, throughout the ages, and some even other stuff that you may not see coming. Nods towards other things that, you <laughs> that I didn't expect, that I really enjoyed. So it's really catered to the adults and the kids at the same time. And I loved it. Uh, shout out to John 3.0, aka the Epic Voice Guy. He's, he did the voice of Soundwave in the movie, and he was awesome. And I thought all the voice acting in the movie was really good. I have no complaints about it. I wish I could say, just to be interesting, just to have some depth to me talking about it, I wish I could say something like, you know, there was one thing or another in this. Nah, no. Loved it all the way through. Um, while I was watching the movie, I was even like staring at the paint on Orion Pax. And I'm like, wow, they make it even look like it's got that candy apple speckle thing to it. It's like they made them almost look like the most expensive freaking custom Transformers figure you could ever buy. But they're moving around and walking and talking throughout the whole movie. I didn't feel like the humor was too heavy that it bogged the movie down. I didn't feel like it was too dramatic to make it weird for the kids. It was the perfect formula. They nailed it. And um, man, I, I don't know what to say. I thought everything about it was great. I loved it. Everybody who worked on, on it. A shout out to Bobby, by the way. Uh, I thought the writing was great. The, the plot of the whole story. Like I said, it fills in a whole bunch of gaps and more. And you know the synopsis of it where, you know, before Optimus Prime and Megatron were enemies. You see them as friends. You see them transition and to this new relationship now. And it's... Uh, <laughs> It's a really good movie. A lot of laughs, a lot of drama. I loved it. I freaking loved it. Non-spoiler review. Trans I, I can't wait for Transformers 2. The I know there's going to be one. This is going to be a big hit, man. This is A lot of people are going to enjoy this movie. I can't imagine anybody being upset with it in any kind of way. 
Like for real. I, I can't. I, I I loved this movie so damn much. Oh my god. It was great. I'm not just singing it because I got the screening. What I started singing its praises after I saw some of the footage at San Diego Comic Con. And that kind of shined some light on it and let me go, oh, this isn't the goofy kid movie that I thought it was going to be. Um, Charlita One made a really good point. What turned her off from the movie at first was that scene where we're like, all right, you guys ready to transform? All right, transform! And they all fall down the hill and start rolling down the hill and bouncing up and down. Like that was the scene for me and for Charlita One. At, but at different times felt like, really this movie? I don't know. Whatever that feeling was, it, it way gone. It, it did not, it's not more of that throughout. There's other goofy stuff, but you won't have that feeling again. I didn't have that feeling again. She didn't have that feeling again. I, I loved it. Let's get to the unboxing stuff. Again, if you guys want to help out this channel, when I post up links going to Big Bad Toy Store, yeah, click at those links. You buy stuff. It helps out this channel for sure. So please check out your action figures over at BBTS while I open this package from amazon right over here and oh this is it nice all right here we go oh man here is my batman forever build a bat riddler there he is jim carrey's riddler by the way my kids also love the sonic movies yeah i can see how this doesn't look like jim carrey from certain angles it kind of does but yeah i can see the complaints but build a Batman? Come on, you know I'm all over that. So let's see if there's any more of the figures from this wave in this package, huh? Shall we? I don't know if there will be or not. I have no clue whatsoever. Okay, I totally have a clue. Um, but yeah, once again, if you're trying to get your figures, you can do so at Biggity Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, I pretty much bought all of these figures, um, yeah, a, kind of a while ago. So I think some of them have been sitting in the loop for some time. Um... But yeah, let's see. I, I kind of can't remember because I did make the purchases a bit and then they kind of sat there for a while, waited for, you know, to build up. Ah, I, you know, I was hoping to have at least one Transformer in this because I'm talking about the Transformers 1 movie. And I was like, damn it, I hope I actually got some Transformers in here. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. But yes, first thing I see, Skywarp. Got Skywarp right over here. Finally, complete our movie seekers. Is this concept Skywarp or is this actually okay? He was actually like this in the movie. So I have the Star Scream and Thundercracker up there. Now I can add Skywarp to the mix. Yes, I've been wanting this one. I've been seeing it at the targets, but I've had it in my pile of loot. I also got Steel Jaw over Steel Jaw over here for my Earthrise Blaster. That's kind of interesting to see him in cassette mode over there in the box. Like that's that's the less interesting of modes. Why, why would you have them in that mode? That, that's kind of funny. Oh, by the way, San Jose Super Toy. I just thought about this. I just felt something in my butt, and it was uh, San Jose Super Toy. So, <laughs> or the flyer for it. Uh, that's my birthday, September 22nd. So I might be going to this to celebrate my birthday. How, how, what a fun thing to do, huh? I'm probably going to do that. That's if I can get my kids and wife to come along. That'd be fun. So, uh, yeah, Saturday, September 21st. And September 22nd, I will be there on the 22nd if I am there at all. I'll confirm via social media and stuff. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. And uh, that's most likely where I'm going to keep you guys up to date. If you want to hit the QR code, there it is right there. Hopefully it's all nice, crisp, and clean. There's all the information. So San Jose Super Toy. Hope to see you there. And uh, let's get into... Ooh. All right, I got these SH Figure Arts Blue Water Effects. I think the, I think they made these for Demon Slayer figures, but I've been wanting these for a long time for several different reasons. They'd be great to have with Namor, Hydro Man, all kinds of characters. So I wanted these blue effects from Tamashii Nations. They, they look really badass. I mean, how cool would it be putting Namor or Hydro Man in the middle of that? I gotta have a group around with these and see how that turns out. That'd be a lot of fun to take some pictures of. And then I have some more DC Multiverse. All right, more of the Build-A-Bat wave, but not all of it. I'm still missing one. Ooh, Val Kilmer figure looks really good. Holy shit, I didn't expect it to have such a blue shine to it. Nice. Right, so you guys know bats are my favorite animal. Which you would have assumed it started with Batman, but not really. I, I've actually always loved, like, uh, what got me into bats was zoo books. 
when I learned that, you know, the bat wing was an evolved human hand, uh, I was like, what the heck? That's crazy. Uh, I just thought it was incredibly fascinating. And then that they could hang upside down without passing out. They have an organ in their neck to, that allows the, the blood to not get stuck and recirculate throughout the rest of the body. Oh, we got wired cape right over here. Yeah. Dick Grayson looks good. There you go. Man, these figures look good. Yeah, the Batman and Robin especially, yeah, I really like. Now I, I just have to wait to get Two-Face, which is going to be in my next package from Big Bad Toy Store. And then I have two more. I got, ooh, the Dark Side figure. I've heard the complaints. Century showed me a demonstration. I don't care. I think it looks badass. I love the side. Oh, I do care. When I say I don't care... I mean, I, I'm still excited for the figure. I do care. But yeah, th this looks dope. And I really am excited to have this on the shelf. This looks perfect for my DC Multiverse shelf. So I I'm excited for it. I like the size and everything. And yeah, the Omega features, the Omega Bean features right there look pretty damn sweet too. Happy about that. And then lastly, this is one that I feel like not a lot of people feel me on this but if you're in my generation and you grew up in the 80s and 90s you may remember dick tracy dick tracy i was all over dick tracy i wanted to be that kid when can we eat i wanted to be that kid i was like wow how cool would that be to be hang out with a detective and super hot madonna man that i, I mean that's like one of my earliest crushes in madonna you guys remember when madonna did a music video kissing a boy and, when, and if you were a little boy at that time, you were like, oh, what about me? What about me? Not, uh, did anybody else think that or no? Because I was a little kid at the time and I saw that and I was like, I want that hella fine ass grown woman to kiss me too. But I was like eight years old or some shit. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up that they put that in music videos back in the day. I don't know, maybe a little bit early to be thinking about that kind of shit. But that's kind of a rabbit hole we just went down right now. huh? Well, welcome back to Earth. None of that's happening for us. Madonna doesn't like you anymore. And if Charlita One found out you're talking that way about Madonna, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> but hey, these, I I missed out on Prune Face, and I missed out on uh, the blank, and I am on the wait list at the Mezco shop to get those, but I had to get this. Uh, I love Dick Tracy, man. And I had those figures back in the day. I think... Playmates made them, unless I'm mistaken, or Kenner. I think it was Playmates for some reason. Because they kind of had that same Ninja Turtles kind of look to them. And, and the Star Trek look. But anyway, damn, I cannot wait. Mezco's just been crushing it. And for their suited characters, for like, you know, a high-end suited gangster freaking rogues gallery, Mezco is the company to do it, man. So I, I hope they keep making more. So, yeah, if you haven't gotten the Dick Tracy, I mean, I haven't opened it yet, so wait for the review. I'm definitely going to review this two-pack set. Make sure you guys watch it. And, yeah, that's it, you guys. That, that's all the stuff right here. You usually have a Marvel Legend, but no Marvel Legends today. We've talked about Marvel Legends a whole bunch recently. Maybe, you know, change it up a little bit. You guys know I'm into different stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. Got a whole bunch more videos coming your way. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.